hello and welcome back to the channel in this video we're going to take a look at the winwing fcu i actually just got mine uh yesterday which would have been tuesday the 15th uh, i'm a late pre-orderer uh, i saw a lot of really cool videos a lot of streamers using it and it looked just really really awesome and uh, i wasn't convinced on getting it because uh, i'm more of i was more of a boeing 737 um, the E-Jets and the CRJ, uh, that's the more of the planes I was flying, but I've gotten a lot of time in the Phoenix as of the last, let's say two months. If you've watched my videos, if you watch my streams, uh, I definitely know I fly the Phoenix an awful lot now. And because of that, I decided to put down some money on this wonderful, uh, FCU. Okay. So it's powered off right now because the aircraft's powered off. So let's go ahead and get the aircraft powered on. So we're gonna add some auxiliary power and you can see the panel comes to life. And I'm not gonna start this whole aircraft up. I'm just doing a little test for this video, right? So uh, by default, this FCU works with the, uh, I think, I believe it's the default flights, um, A320, uh, of course the Phoenix, and it does work for the fly-by-wire as well. Um, so if you do have Moby Flight, you can go on flightsim.to and you can actually have it working for, with other aircrafts, including the 737, uh, which I have not tried yet, but apparently works really, really well. So that's going to be a mission that I'm going to do. But everything you do within the panel itself is instantly recognized within the sim as well. So here we are. I'm going to just kind of zoom into the panel here so you can kind of see it. And so in the default one, in the real life one, I should say, you will, these switches go up and down. They didn't mimic that. They had, they have them as a pull switches. Okay. So for example, with the speed, we can twist it and you can see as I'm twisting it within the sit, within the real life panel, it's changing within the sim instantly, right? If I push forward, it's going to go to manage speed. If I pull it out. It's going to go to user defined speed. Okay. And we won't be able to see that because I don't have anything programmed. Um, same with the heading, so we push in for the autopilot to manage it and then pull out for the user to manage it. Both of these buttons here work for the APU, the localizer works as well. And the same with the throttle, the throttle, I mean, sorry, the altitude, um, initially set on 1000, you can switch it over to 100 and now you got 100s, right? Very, very cool. And then the approach button works as well. And then we have the, the vertical, right? So pull out and push in, right? So now we can go ahead and adjust things. So very, very cool. Everything feels really, really nice. Nice, slight little clicks to it, right? Nothing aggressive, but just enough to make it feel nice. Everything feels nice and smooth. Now I currently have this one uh, set up. So I have the, there's, it gives you I don't know, 12 or so uh, little glue stickers you can put on the bottom of the panel and then you can stick it onto something. So I have it sticking on top of my Honeycomb Bravo, which works really, really well because if I'm flying anything but the Airbus A320, uh, I have my autopilot controls right below uh, for those aircrafts. So it works really, really well. The backlighting is awesome as well. Um, we can show you, I can show you really quick the software. So here's the software for the panel itself. So in here, you can adjust the backlighting. You can see it go up and down. And then uh, the screen light as well. So really, really cool. Uh, the firmware update was really, really easy. You click on this little button and it goes through the steps. And from my understanding, you can program some of these buttons to do things as well. I'm not 100% sure on that, so I might be incorrect. But from my understanding, you can. Uh, within the software, of course, you can test to make sure all the buttons and switches are working, right? Pulling and pushing and all that jazz, so they are working. Uh, but really, really cool. And the price tag is phenomenal. Uh, I got it shipped to my home address for 135 bucks or so uh, in the U.S. And it, it came through FedEx and arrived two days early, which was even cooler. So I highly recommend this piece of software if you're flying in the Airbus A320. And even if you don't fly the 320 so much, uh, like I said, you can go and, and hop onto flight sim that TO, download some additional things, and get it working with a bunch of other aircrafts as well. So if you have the 
Winwing FC. Sorry, if you have the Winwing FCU, uh, go and leave me a comment down below what you what you think about it. How awesome you think it is? If you don't like it so much, uh, or if you're interested in the FCU itself, uh, let me know down below what your thoughts are. What, what's holding you back from getting it? And uh, maybe myself or another user can get you some feedback on that. So as always, give me that thumbs up and give me that subscription. We'll see you for the next video. Take care.